Where? Ah. Where are we? Oh, okay. The last thing I remember was being captured by my father, and then he, he, he killed everything. <laughs> All right then, it's over. You saved my life. Well, technically I didn't. You died. I don't know what to say. I got you back, though. If that's worth anything. I'll just do it already. Dot dot dot. That's as good as anything to say. Ah, uh, okay. Look, I was thinking, a guy like you needs someone to watch his back in this dangerous world. Nope. Yeah, that's why I've I got. I was wondering if we could, you know, travel together for a while. I'm I'm pretty good with a bow, and and I'd like. Well, see, I've already got this team, like, I've got Cleon, uh, I've got Captain, um, yeah, you know what, you, you better, uh... Really? Oh, that's wonderful! Just think of the adventures that are waiting for us. Lead on. Okay, then. So the heart has been destroyed. I came out of this a bit wiser, with a summon cat spell, a little braver, uh, but not with the heart. Oh, well. Sometimes treasure is just more than ancient trick is. With Cat at my side, I'm ready to take on the world. So thanks for being completely pointless, Quest. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Where the... Where's Winter Thingamajig, though? Oh. You did good. End of letter. No, okay. I do not say that a great many times, but the heart is destroyed and the portal to the realm of the dead is closed. When you came through the portal near death, I found myself in the presence of a strange creature. You know him as the Collector. Oh, crap. He's had as many names. This collector brought you back here to this world to rest your wounds. He told me that the house is yours, if you wish. He then disappeared, favored by the gods. As for me, I'm going to search for more of my people. Now that my family's spirits are at peace, it's time to taste life once more. It's been a long, long time, and as I leave, I lay upon you the title of the child of the Neverian. Or the Never. Neverian. Screw the whole thing. You've earned it. So remember me and know that you will always have my thanks for what you've done for my people and for me, Winter Moon. By the way, I'm behind you and I'm going to attack you. No, not really, but holy crap. What's in this chest? Oh, no. All right then. Money. Yep, that's what's in that chest. Money. What am I wearing? What is that? Black wide pants. Right then. Much better, wait. What the heck's going on with this sword? It like swings? It's like clearly in front of him and then it disappears behind him. We must investigate this optical illusion. I'll freaking equip this stupid thing and whatever. Kazi Do. No, okay. Oh. Whatever you need. Are you bound by CM Partners now? You are. Kind of. It's not the same thing, but it's pretty darn close. Very well. I'm off then. Where's your other... Yes, my love. Where's your other, uh, stuff? No problem. Okay. That's cool. Yes? That's not what I was looking for, though. Oh, here we go. Whatever you... Where's your other thing? You don't have your other thing anymore. What was the point of giving her custom gear if she's not going to be able to keep it? That seems kind of silly. Um, is this the collector's place then? I guess it is. See though, what was... What was the deal with us having to repay him or something? Well, isn't that what, what he told us? This is a very interesting and unique type, type of home though. I'll have to give him that. The bags. The bags. Let's look at the bays. Cool. Oh, hey. What is it doing? Okay. Something up here. Now she's acting like a, a CM partner. I don't know what the crap she was before this, but whatever. Oh, hey. 
credits. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, well done. Well done. Right then. So, I guess that's the end of the mod. I was about to check the, uh, the walkthrough to see if it was, but I don't have to do that now. Alright, here's a heavily modified version of CM Punter, so that question's been answered. I'm gonna let you guys listen to this because the music seems pretty loud, and then I'll start chiming in with my, uh, with my final say on the, well now I'll just talk now, although I might not, you might not be able to hear me, so I'm not gonna do too many, uh, too many important, uh, important things in this portion of the whatever script. Hi, no. Now, the treasure hunting aspect of this mod was really interesting, in my opinion. There were a lot of neat little things about the dungeons that I enjoyed. The dungeons were really well designed and everything, and the difficulty was very much okay. See, like, the dress there. Like, what happened to the dress? Where's the dress? Did it just burn up? Or, I don't know. Here we've got the quest music, which does come with the game and you can keep it, so yeah, there you go. It's all custom music. There's the, uh, websites. Oh, they use MySpace. Oh, they lose a few points for that. No, I'm just messing around. Okay. It's that guy. Oh, okay. had to license their products, huh? Or their, uh, music. I don't know. Whatever. Thanks for playing the Horde of the Dead. You're mostly welcome. Alright then. So with that over, it's time to tear this mod a new one. No, not really. I don't actually have very many problems with it. It did say a heavily modified version of CM Partners. And even... What do you- Even the end result here, unless... Oh, hold on. Done. Um, that can... That's going to interest me for a bit here. So let's walk around the house. Um, yeah, so... Besides the scripting... Which ended up not being a problem, really, because you weren't forced to use the NPCs. How do you get... Oh, there's a root. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, no. This mod is uh, this mod's pretty good, actually. I have to say that I enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't know if you heard me in the credits uh, thing, but as I did say, the the treasure hunting aspect of this mod was good, and I really liked the designs of all the dungeons, pretty much. Storage area, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, the collector left behind some of his booze. My booze. No, oh, okay. Starcraft 2 reference. Okay, anyway. Well, it's my reference, but I said it in StarCraft 2. Don't take my references. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Um, I didn't expect to get the, uh, I didn't expect to get a home at the end of the mod. That's kind of, that's kind of neat. Of course, the, the chest has the White King's armor, which I'm guessing is no longer cursed. I don't feel like confirming that right now. I'll just kind of take it for granted that it's not going to be cursed anymore, because it would make sense. Uh, yeah. So, voice acting, custom sounds and everything, custom textures and, and meshes. Of course, I'm, those are all phenomenal. I can't, I can't really ignore those. Especially, uh, Lorcan's, uh, armor at the end there. Oh, those freaking, freaking silver knights are finally back. I wonder where those went. Oh. I really don't want to deal with you. Oh, sorry, cat. <laughs> Are you shooting at me? No, you're, you're still shooting the thing. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the the, uh, the custom uh, the dream world thing, or not the dream world, but the um the realm. Okay. Finally. The run with the end there was really interesting. As I alluded to a ton of times, I 
Really like the design of that. Hopefully Cat comes in here. I don't want to deal with those freaking knights. I'm in the middle of a review. One more segment reset though. Who there? Alright. Oh hi. Um what are you doing? Yes, immortality and whatever the heck else. Where's Cat? Okay, she's here. Um yeah. So let's see, what else is there to say about the mod really? Everything it gives you is, is, is pretty cool. What can I do for you? Oh, that's fixed for some reason. I don't know how, but whatever. Okay. You know. Wait, what? Oh, okay. She was just thinking about me. I caught the I caught the end of that. So, what's next, oh fearless leader? I don't know. Hello? Yeah, please. Go. Storyline! Um... There are some really iffy, weird things about it. Did it, did it crash? Okay, no, it didn't. You're gonna make me fight, though, aren't you? Oh. Why? You know, screw this. All right, it's dead. Forget it. Okay. Ugh, let's go someplace quiet. Anyway, so stuff. No, okay. Uh, like I said, the storyline was pretty good. There were some kind of confusing things about it, but. I don't know. I'm not really that upset about predicting the whole in our thing. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of messing around with it, but... Hey! Hey! No! That's Captain Blues! Anyway. Stop getting sidetracked during the review. And it's still too loud here. There, it's shut off, finally. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> And all the crap that I was kind of having with the the NPC scripts and uh, the Winter Moon thing. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if I hit her too many times in the monastery or what, but I mean, really, come on. That could have at least been done a little better. But no, but the the playability of the mod was 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 uh it was fine though. Like there, there weren't any yes, my love. There weren't any game breaking. Uh, see if this works. Okay, it does. There weren't any really game-breaking aspects about it at all. You can easily complete it. The puzzles are really cool, I have to say. Some of the puzzles, they aren't really that obvious, but it kind of it kind of makes you think a bit. And you know, they're kind of neat. Slightly Zelda-esque, but that's a good thing. I'm going to sit on this leopard sofa. Oh, yeah. Zelos is styling and profiling now. I don't know. And yeah, let's see. What else is it I want to want to, want to mention? Player benefits are pretty good. Went over the graphics and the sound already. The voices and everything. That's fine. Custom stuff is fine. Getting the home was a nice surprise. It's good. Dungeons were fine. Storyline was fine. Playability was fine. I don't think I have anything else to say about this. It ended up. It, it turned out pretty darn well. Some of the traps were kind of funny. The the first one that I unintentionally jumped over a long time ago, that was hilarious to me. I was cracking up. And then that second one that I kind of uh, unintentionally jumped over, that was in this recording session. But yeah. Um, the custom items, very interesting, uh, very interesting effects with the, with the White King uh, equipment, like... I think I said once that um, the, the helmet reminds me of the Lens of Truth from Zelda. The hand thing, I don't know, it seems a little kind of forced that they just wanted to give you a complete uh, set of armor, but it did have its uses. The boots were cool, I mean, could be another uh, could be another Legend of Zelda reference with the hover boots, maybe, but it's, it's not like every item of that type has to be Zelda-oriented. Man, I'm running out of time. Well, screw the timer because YouTube doesn't have limits anymore for... Accounts in good standing. Luckily, I still have good standing. So we can continue onward now. Um, kinda... I, I don't really know what they could have done with the, uh... The rest of the armor. So it's, it's kinda... It's kinda good that we saved that stuff until the end, because... I don't know what you would have been able to do with the suit. <laughs> it's like, repel some kind of magic or whatever, but no. The boss battles were cool. I'm kind of disappointed we don't get Lorcan's uh, armor, but I could always go and CS and mess around with that if I really need to. So it looks like this mod is definitely worth keeping, even after you've finished it. It's kind of a shame that Dublin had to die, but... 
I don't know, so I wonder if that means Cat, if Cat would have been dead if I chose Dublin. But then that would have been weird. So I'm really glad that coin landed on heads, otherwise we might have had some problems here. <laughs> some ruined tail-esque problems. No, no, they, they couldn't have... I don't know, maybe somewhere they hinted that it was a partly, partly romance mod, so maybe you would have known to pick Cat if you were a male character. And Dublin if you were a female character. Or swing the other way. I don't really do whatever you want, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Fireplace. So let's see. Um, the scripting. Now, I'm not going to rant about the NPC scripting. The scripting I actually want to talk about right now is the scripting of some of the events in the mod. Like, the, the White King helmet is really cool. Someone pointed out a small thing, though, that while well, the White King helmet is on, and if Dublin can't follow you through the walls, why could zombies walk through the walls? Well, yeah, okay, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a programming hole there, but it, it forms a small plot hole. But at the same time, it's kind of the limitation of the game. Like the zombie wouldn't really know that. So I'm not really going to knock off too much for that. It didn't really ruin anything about the mod. But it is still kind of a bad thing that that would be. I knew I could get in here somehow. That would be kind of an inconsistency. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I think my throat's dry from talking so much. Um. But yeah, all the effects with like putting on the armor and having everything change around you—that was just really cool. We we got to see a lot of custom scripting in here as far as events and triggers went, and I think the mod creator delivered like. They did a lot here. Everyone involved in this project did a lot, and it ended up being a fantastic experience. The NPC thing, and some of the minor plot hole things, they, I don't know, they're, they don't really bother me that much. So, with that in mind, I am going to award The Heart of the Dead a 9.5 out of 10. There is virtually little flaw in it. And the flaws that are in it, they aren't worth ignoring the mod completely, and... Even the the effects of the NPC scripts, like I said, they don't- they're not overbearing. Not like Man of Marco, where you needed the NPCs for stuff. No, here they did, uh... They did manage to glitch everything. No, not really. They did manage to make it more worth your while. As well as, uh... Make those issues not as big of a deal, which is kind of funny. It's like they anticipated problems with... So they made them not have as much of an effect on the game. But yeah, I like to see that. So these guys did a great job. 9.5 out of 10. Get it. Play it. It's fun. Treasure hunting and whatnot. I didn't get everything by far. There's no way I got everything. But yeah, this wasn't a 100% run, whatever else. So that was Heart of the Dead. Um, don't know what I'm going to be reviewing next. I'll check the list and see what has the highest requests and probably get Elsweir over with soon. And now it's too late to record Tales from Cyrodiil today, but hopefully I'll get into some of it tomorrow. I'm going to let you test out the mod if you want and see what you think for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Team UDF Gaming.